So I think I need to put a disclaimer right here at the start. Now, we've featured Herschel Infrared before on the channel in the home series, and I've recently had some of their panels fitted in my home as part of a much bigger refit to go fully electric, and I absolutely love them. Now, the heat they give out feels different. It sort of feels like sunshine on a nice summer's day. Now, in the years ahead, we will increasingly be relying on more and more renewables and electrification of heating. And recently, we've heard the government talking lots about heat pumps, and I'm very interested in how infrared heating fits in. So I'm here at Herschel Infrared's head office in Bristol to speak with the team to hopefully give you, the viewers at home, a better insight into what infrared heating is all about and how it compares with heat pumps in terms of costs and practicalities. Welcome to Fully Charged Plus. So I'm here with Jane Lancely and Paul Morey from Herschel Infrared. Now, thank you so much for letting us come and see your really very plush showroom. I'm really impressed. Uh, Jane, can you just tell us a bit about Herschel Infrared, what it is, why it started, why it exists? Certainly. So um, I've been with Herschel Infrared for seven years now, and they were established several years before that. Um, so not only the largest, but the longest established supplier and manufacturer of infrared in the UK, uh, with the widest selection, so we can provide cost-effective and energy-efficient heating solutions for any application, really, uh, residential, commercial, industrial, um, and we've got operations globally as well. So Jane, can you explain then to a, a lay person, that's me, uh, what infrared heating is, what, what, what happens when you turn on an infrared heater? Herschel infrared panels, uh, they're, they're different from most forms of heating, which primarily heat the air. So Herschel panels, they will heat the thermal mass of a room. And by thermal mass, we mean the walls, the floors, the ceilings, um, any objects in the room and us. In fact, they'll heat us directly as people. And because they heat in that way, um, store the heat in the walls and, and re gently release it into the room they kind of turn the room into a 360 degree radiator so you get a nice even balanced spread of heat and because of that you um, can run them a lower wattage and you can run them for less time and in fact you can run them at lower temperatures and still achieve the same comfort levels mm. so that's what makes them such an, an efficient form of heating and also a, a very healthy form of heating for the building because um, if you can imagine when you heat with convection when you heat the air you've got your hot air hitting your cold walls and that's what causes is a lot of the condensation and damp that we um, have in our buildings these days. But with Herschel, you are heating the actual um, you know, fabric of the building. Yeah. So because of that, you, you uh, certainly don't cause those problems and you actually resolve them. So very popular. So in, in healthy for the building, in turn, healthy for us as well. What is amazing, though, is because I'm looking behind you, there's a mirror. And I'm going, is that, that's a mirror. Is that a panel? It certainly is. So, you know, we do a number of different styles. And as you say, um, we, you can literally hide your heating in plain sight because we have infrared heaters as mirrors. We have them as tail rails. You can even put pictures on there. So um, you can choose from one of our uh, pictures or most customers actually provide their own. So photographs they've taken, family photos, things like that. So you can have a big family photo that's actually a heat that that's heats it. the roof. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we've done some absolutely stunning um, picture panels. They're absolutely beautiful mm. and, and people always comment on them they say our customers say yeah it's the party piece of our house things like that so yeah that's a, that's a really popular option and then we've got of course our white panels um, which are hugely popular they can be wall mounted or even better they can be ceiling mounted yeah, yeah which is fantastic of course then they're up and out the way um, freeing up the wall space really nice easy way of mounting them to give you a nice balanced spread of heat across the room so yeah really flexible in terms of um, what what you can actually put on your walls and on your ceilings as well. So as you both know, I've got, I've just installed uh, three panels in my studio and office and I, it is the hardest thing to describe to people how they work. I think that's the, that's the biggest thing because I'm in there and I'm warm, not the slightest bit cold, but it, and it's been cold days recently, but it doesn't feel sort of overheated and stuffy like it used to when I had gas, a gas central heating system there. I don't even know, so I can't explain to people. That must be a, a hard thing, but I'm comfortable. That's yeah. the thing. That's always the feedback we get from our customers is that level of comfort. They love the way it feels. Um, so it almost, as you'll know, it feels like you know the sun coming in through the window at you and just gently, gently warming you. Yeah. Customers make the effort to come back and tell us time and time again, 
it's, it's amazing, yeah, it's efficient, looks fantastic, but it's so comfortable to actually live in as well, which is always brilliant. And we get so much, so many customers coming on the back of other customers' um, referrals. That is, yeah, all the time. So yeah, massively comfortable. Yeah, oh, well, my neighbor came in the other day and stood in front of it and was, was baffled. How nice! So, <laughs> so that's exactly that example. So Paul, and we've heard a lot in the news recently, a lot of anxiety in ways about air source heat pumps. How does infrared heating compare to air source heating? Um, so it's a completely different form of heating. Um, with air source heat pump, as you said, that um, you're using a wet system usually, yeah. uh, probably under floor as well, and um, you probably have to oversize the radiators because the air flow, sorry, the water flow temperature is so much lower than a gas boiler. Um, so there's a huge amount of um, uh, infrastructure needed um, in terms of disruption usually. So uh, for 90% 90, 90 of housing stock out there, it's actually not that practical. Um, so, but they do have this coefficient um, so that you can run, take one kilowatt of electricity and turn it into more kilowatts of heat. Yeah. Okay? <clears throat> we can't compete with that with, right. um, uh, because we're one to one. Right. However, but one to one is pretty, actually well, pretty good. We can do a little bit better than one to one, right. and I'll explain. So, uh, with Herschel, you, um, traditional convection heating, which would be how you run your um, air source heat pump, you're heating a volume of air, um, and that air rises to the ceiling, cools down, and cycles around. So, uh, what you find is you're pumping a lot of energy into heating air, which then takes a while to transfer its energy into the building. We're doing direct heating of the building itself and people. So we're taking all the energy from that, that one kilowatt straight into the room itself, and it's been absorbed by the uh, thermal mass of the, the room, and then gently releasing its heat back. So we're almost using the room as a, a thermal battery, if you like. Um, you can't do that with convection heating. It escapes on drafts. Um, warm air wants to escape through drafts, and cold air comes in. So you open a door, you lose it. Um, so, uh, and there's an interesting effect, because as people, we like radiant heat, which is infrared heat. We love the feel of a campfire uh, or the sun, which is actually warming us. That's, that's our, the way we've evolved to be heated. Um, we actually feel more comfortable in around radiant heat. So um, we can be as comfortable one or two degrees lower than uh, the air temperature you need to be the same comfort. So, which is a bit of a weird thing to get around and you have to kind of have lived it to understand it. But um, anyone who's bought our panels actually totally gets and they say it's a different form of heat, it's fresher, it's more comfortable, and I can turn the thermostat down. So, um, so that effect allows us to actually save some energy. So we've done the first ever UK direct comparison test in a university chamber. So we took um, an air source heat pump, six kilowatts, A rated plus plus heat pump. Um, this was in a simulated two bed uh, end, of, um, end of terrace house, 50 meters squared. Uh, and has uh, room by room control. Uh, we tested against an air source heat pump, the normal convection heating, which is just electric convector heaters, and Hershey infrared panels, um, and ran that test in the chamber with the outside air temperature of the chamber being at 4.7 degrees. And that's wow. important because the average ambient air temperature across the heating season in the UK is 4.7 degrees right. per sap. So that's your winter, your winter. Your winter, so your October to May average. Obviously, it fluctuates widely in this country, but that's, that's the average temperature. So when they're doing the building, uh, it's called SAP, but um, when they're doing these calculations, that's the kind of baseline they're using to, um, uh, to assess things. So, so that was why we chose that temperature. And then the tests were run independently, if you like. So there was one test done over a couple of days with our heaters, one with the convection heater, and one with the heat pump. Now, what we find was quite surprising. The heat pump coefficient was claimed to be something like 300%. So you were here, oh, with a heat pump, you get one kilowatt in, and you can get up to, say, four kilowatts out. Yeah. At the heat pump they used, and it was a market-leading one, came out at uh, 1.73, so 173%. Right. Nowhere near the claimed 300. 300. And actually, the government in SAP used 250. So it was actually below what the government um, right suggest in terms of when they're, they're making their calculations. That was the first surprise. We, in comparison, because we were able to prove that we could run it, because uh, we use thermal sensors all over the place, um, get the same level of comfort, uh, were effectively 113% efficient. Wow. If you took the baseline being the electric convection heater, right? So, right. so we said they're one-to-one. -one. 
Um, and we compared the actual energy usage across the three. So um, this is the first test we know of right. where we've proven that we can go actually of electric heating. We know heat pump is more efficient, but maybe not as efficient as hoped. Yeah. Uh, and then we know infrared is the next most efficient form of electric heating. And then that beats convection heating and all your underfloor and that kind of stuff. So uh, when we've done the comparison tests, which are uh, done in a properly controlled chamber, um, we found if you extrapolate those uh, running costs over the, the, uh, the whole heating season, then for a typical two bed, semi detached house, um, you'd be looking at something like a third um, uh, extra cost for running a Herschel heating system compared to a heat pump. But when you look at the servicing costs that you need with a heat pump, which is something like 200 pounds a year, um, that saving, energy saving actually gets eaten away and it totally gets eaten away when you look at the difference in the capital cost. So cost to buy a Herschel heating system, a heat pump will be three times more than that. Right, to install. To install and buy and, and purchase the system. So, uh, and actually the payback, if you look at actually how long does it take before the, the energy saving makes financial sense, goes out to something like 40 years, way beyond the lifespan of the heat pump. Um, so uh, actually, we would say financially it makes more sense to take that extra budget, uh, spend it on say solar or uh, maybe some battery storage, you can have it for the same price. Then you're self-sufficient as well um, and, uh, and you can have a nice um, personal system or uh, better still insulate the, the, the building if you can. Uh, so spend on the fabric of the building, uh, you don't need a fancy expensive heat pump. I, know, I mean then the other thing I just want to kind of underline, presumably you also tried it with a gas boiler. But well, we're working on the assumption there is no gas boiler in the future, yes. okay? So by 2025, you can't put them in anyway. Yeah, yeah. And by 2035, they're phased out. I mean, in all fairness, we say this, if you have an existing gas system, you won't save money by taking it out and putting uh, yeah. infrared in or, or a heat pump. However, you will be doing a bit to, uh, to save the planet. They're doing that's, anyway. that's, 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 mm. Yeah. Now, what about in terms of emissions? It's pretty obvious, even to a non-engineer like me, that these are not producing emissions at point of use. There's not, nothing coming out of the, of, the, of the panels. Yeah, absolutely. They're electric. So, um, you know, most people are aware now of, of the impact that transport has on the climate and heating homes has a similar impact. So it, it's hugely important this issue is addressed and Hershey and Fred heaters, as we say, can do that now. Re re they're a very realistic and accessible option now. Um, so being electric, you can very straightforward to switch to a renew new renewable energy supplier. Um, you can run with solar, with our thermostats. You don't need any additional hardware um, to run them with solar. Even better if you can combine that solar with battery storage, harness that power, use it on request. So yeah, we all need to be using the renewable energy, but we need to be using it with, with efficient systems like Herschel that we can actually um, put in now. You um, have a lot of eco solutions out there, but the install costs are so high, so disruptive to install them. You have a, a major skill shortage and you need to train so many people up to actually install them that it, it's a, it's a you know, much longer term. Um, but with Herschel in Fred, all you need is a qualified electrician, you know, plenty of those. It's, it's a very easy system to install, as we've said. Um, so really accessible now. Um, and I mean, they're already, we'd expect our panels to have a very long life, but they're already 90, over 95% recyclable. Um, but we're very close to being able to repair them at end of life anyway. Um, so even when they come to the end of life, we'll be able to repair them, they'll be able to carry on. So very little future potential waste as well. Um, but yeah, it's really the accessibility at, at, that you can be doing this now at the lower install cost, less disruption, and all the other benefits we've already mentioned. Because I mean, that is a big thing. I mean, a relative of mine is currently putting in under floor heating in an existing old house, and it's costing them, well, for a start, they can't live in it for six months, and it's costing them a fortune. Absolutely. Whereas they could actually put these in. Two or three days. <laughs> Two or three days. <laughs> it's a bit of a difference. Give them my number. Yeah. <laughs> So where can the audience, our audience go to find out more about Herschel Infrared? Your best bet is our website, um, www.herschel-infrared.co.uk. Uh, we've got a huge amount of information on there. Um, and uh, you, you can always um, contact us as well um, um, and book an appointment to um, either come and see us or one of our um, friendly people will give you a call back. So. Very good. And then can, so people can come here then? The yeah, absolutely. Come very welcome panel. to come and visit our showroom um, anytime. We'd be very happy to turn them around, help them with specifications. Yeah, any, any questions also give us a call. We're always here to help. And it's great because there's a complete range of your panels here. And when we walked in, we stood in front of one and went, 
feel that warmth. Yeah, absolutely, and, and, and as we just said, customers want to be able to feel what, what, it, what these panels feel like, so yeah, welcome anytime. Well, thanks very much for having us in your lovely showroom. It's, it's open, you can come. If you're in the Bristol area, it's definitely worth popping in because you kind of need to experience this technology to really understand what it's like. It really does work. I can say that from genuine personal experience now. Uh, all the links to everything we've talked about are in the show notes beneath this video. Uh, but that's it. As always, if you have been, thank you for watching.